Good morning, welcome to another vlog. I am just finishing up my breakfast. I had a pretty productive morning. I went to Pilates, showered, got ready, and I was about to head over to my filming area uh, to put on some makeup and was gonna take you with me. I'm trying to think what I wanna do today because I was gonna go to the strip to return a few things to Nordstrom. I had purchased some clothing that one is too big and two, I didn't really like. Um, so we may do that, but it's a really, really gloomy day. And I think the traffic for some reason, I don't know if something's going on. I just checked the reports. There's like something going on on the strip, which happens quite often. And when something is going on on the strip, it's very, very busy. And it's just really hard to get around because it's so concentrated. So maybe I won't be doing that. But something I definitely wanna do is I wanna go up to my spare bedroom today and clean it out. It is um, really embarrassing. It's really embarrassing. I feel like I say this a lot when I talk about uh, closets and drawers and things. I really, really need to kind of organize uh, the room, throw garbage out that needs to be thrown out. Like it really has become this like really random like storage room. And this is the room that I wanna turn into the room that I'm gonna have like my handbags in, maybe some shoes, uh, my jewelry definitely, my perfume. It's something that I was calling my finishing room for a while. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know what I'm talking about. It's the room right next to our primary bedroom. So I wanna kinda of clean it up and pick up all the stuff off the floor. So I just have like, a, like an unobstructed view of the room and kind of visualize it a little bit better because I do want California closets to come in and build out some storage for me for my handbags and things. And I just, you guys, I just cannot decide what it is or how I want to organize everything. And I've been watching so many YouTube videos. I've been watching all my favorite influencers who have these, you know, gorgeous dressing rooms. Um, but a lot of them have full dressing rooms. So they have all of their clothing in there, like everything. And for me, it's gonna be split. So all of my clothing and my shoes are in my primary closet. And then I'm gonna have, like I said, my handbags and some other things just to kind of finish off my look, which is why I was calling it my finishing room. But I, yeah, I just, the room isn't oddly shaped. I mean, I'll bring you up there. It's not oddly shaped, but I do have some challenges in there. And anyway, I just have like shopping bags and kind of some random clothes and boxes. I just have all this random stuff kind of strewn all over that room. And um, it's where I keep my steamer and I have a rolling rack in there. Anyway, I wanna get it just organized and cleaned out um, so that I can, again, like visualize the room and get California closets in here and give them like a really kind of uh, strong idea as to what I want. Um, they could obviously design something for me um, if I just told them what it is that I want to keep in there, but I really want to have a good idea of it. And I had, of course, envisioned things with like open shelving and, you know, it's like you see all of these uh, Pinterest pins of like beautiful rooms and everything is like beautifully lit on a shelf. Some of the shelves maybe are glass and they have like the little, you know, lighting like along the sides or underneath each shelf. And now I'm leaning towards actually having everything closed off behind like actual cabinet doors, like long, beautiful cabinet doors. Um, but for many reasons, one, I don't wanna like have the pressure to keep it really, really neat looking. And two, the dust. I just wanna keep things kind of like tucked away so that I don't have to like dust off my handbags every time I use them. It's very dusty here in Vegas. So anyway, these are like the thoughts that are kind of just rolling around in my head. And every time I go in that room to try and visualize something, I see all of that crap all over the floor. So I'm like, I have to do that soon. So I think I'm gonna do that today. Um, it's a gloomy, gloomy day here in Vegas. It's been really gloomy here, which is unusual. Um, I don't mind it so much. I really like cloudy, gray, cold <laughs> days. Uh, but everyone I've spoken to here in Vegas, they're like, when is the sun gonna come out? I'm like, there's plenty of sun here, please. Just give me, just give me a few more cloudy days and I'll be happy. Uh, but anyway, it's a gloomy day, so it's not a day that like, I just wanna be like running around outside. So I think I am just gonna sit in that room and just sort of clean stuff up. Thanks for letting me talk that through with you guys. Should I go to the strip or should I just clean that room? I think we'll just be cleaning that room. Anyway, let's head on over to my filming area, my makeup room and put on some makeup. 
Well, that was uh, really coincidental. So as I was walking back here uh, to put makeup on with you guys, California Closets <laughs> called. Um, you guys may recall that we got, um, basically we, we did the plans or whatever and I put my deposit down to get my husband's office done. So that is happening now in one, two, in about three weeks. So it's happening at the end of January. I'm really, really, really excited. I'm sure he's really excited. So anyway, just set that up and all right, let's go ahead and put on some, put on some makeup. I'm looking really, this is what happens in the winter, right? I'm just looking so <laughs> blah. What's going on with my hair? <laughs> so what I need to do actually is fix my hair. I've got some clear brow gel here just gonna get these guys to lay down a little yeah all right so i am ready to throw on some foundation i am working with shantakai on this portion of the video because i want to talk about their foundations they have the most incredible foundation you guys have heard me talk about all of their foundations uh incessantly over the past few years so i've got their uh, Future Skin Oil-Free Gel Foundation. I have their Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer, which has SPF 15. I also have their Cushion Foundation. This is their Future Skin uh, Cushion Skin Care Foundation. So I have to decide which one I want to put on today, which is always very difficult to decide because, like I said, I love all of their foundations. I have been going on and on about all of their foundations for a while. So let's just talk about the differences here. First thing I want to mention is I had been using the shade Vanilla in all three of the foundations. And if you guys have been following me for any length of time, you guys know that that's my uh, foundation shade. However, I have gotten paler and paler as the years have gone by. I don't know if it's because I've gotten into the better habit of wearing SPF, but I really am um, paler than I think uh, what vanilla is suited for. So Shantakai was kind enough in sending me some lighter shades. So for the Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer, I'm going to be trying Bliss. And then for the cushion and the gel foundation, I have Alabaster. Let's talk about the differences between all of these. And I'm also going to show you cutaways of me applying some of these uh, foundations. So let's talk about the Future Skin Oil-Free Gel Foundation. So this is the one that comes in the jar. So this one is Alabaster, this one is Vanilla. So you can see how Vanilla is just a tinge deeper. Okay, I think it's actually pretty clear um, that Vanilla is uh, quite a bit deeper than Alabaster. So here's Vanilla, here is Alabaster. I really, really love using um, this gel foundation in the summertime because it is a, like a gel consistency. It is so cooling on the skin. And uh, I was gonna say it has such a beautiful natural skin-like um, finish, but I could say that for all of these foundations. It just has such a gorgeous finish. It's not too radiant, it's not matte, it's just completely natural. And again, I feel like I can say this for all of these foundations, um, but I find also that the coverage is very customizable. I feel like I just use a little bit less if I want lighter coverage. I just add another layer if I want to build it up and get a little bit more coverage. All of the foundations work beautifully in that way. And out of all three of these foundations, I would say that this Future Skin Oil-Free Gel Foundation can build up to the fullest coverage. I wouldn't say it's like super full, but it's the fullest coverage I would say out of these three. It just builds up really, really beautifully. It just remains really, really um, skin-like and natural looking, and I love it. And like I said, I personally like wearing it in the summertime because it is very cooling. It just feels great on the skin, but of course you can wear it anytime. And because it's oil-free, this is a wonderful foundation for those with oilier skin types. So that's the Future Skin Oil-Free Gel Foundation. Let me remove these swatches and let's talk about the cushion foundation so again i do have it in vanilla but they were kind enough in sending me the alabaster so let's just do a quick shade comparison first before we kind of go into the details it's pretty much like the same difference i actually can't believe how deep vanilla is was i always that tan 
Oh well, I think Alabaster definitely is a better shade match for me. So one cushion does come in the case and then you do get an extra one. So I'm gonna tuck this away for safekeeping. Actually, all of these foundations were made in Japan, so I just wanna mention that. And it's a water-based foundation. It is smoothing. It has anti-pollution skincare ingredients in there. And what I really, really love about this cushion foundation is that it's very blurring. I feel like when I put on this foundation, it makes my skin look super soft and supple and it almost looks like it it kind of puts this like Instagram filter over my face. And like I said, like all of the other foundations in Chantecaille's line, it just gives you a really, really natural kind of finish to your skin. Nothing too radiant, nothing too matte. It's just gorgeous. And you can build up the coverage with this as well. And I really like to kind of leave it light with the cushion foundation because I think it really sings in this sort of like light medium medium kind of territory. So that is the cushion foundation, which is just really, really gorgeous. And like I said, one of my all time favorite cushion foundations. So today I wanna to use the Chantecaille Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer that has an SPF 15. The SPF in here, I believe is a mineral sunscreen. Let me just make sure before I go any further. Yes, the active ingredient here is titanium dioxide. So it is a physical mineral sunscreen. And like I said, I had been using vanilla, but they sent over the shade Bliss, which is just a hint lighter than vanilla. So hopefully this will be a better match for my skin tone these days. And I love that it has, you know, a little bit of SPF in there. I also love the texture of this a particular tinted moisturizer. It's really like just great for every day. It has like a light, light, medium coverage. It is, you know, buildable like the rest of these products, but this, much like the cushion, I feel like really sings as like a light, light, medium coverage product. And there's something about this product that's very, very smoothing. But first, I'm gonna throw on the Chantecaille Ultra Sun Protection Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 45 Primer. And this is, such an interesting product. Again, if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know I've been loving and using this product for a very long time, but it has a very, very thin, thin, thin texture and one that I was not prepared for. I remember when I first used this, but it's very thin and it's milky in appearance. It's running down my fingers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rub it into my skin. And this is such an amazing primer. So it does take a little bit of getting used to because it is so thin, but it really smooths out your skin, you know, kind of preparing it for foundation. But it's also really, really blurring. In the summertime, sometimes I'll just throw this product on and because it's so blurring and smoothing, I feel like it does a lot of perfecting without any pigmentation. And I feel confident enough <laughs> to go out with out makeup when I just use this product. All right, and for even more smoothing, let's go in with the Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer. Again, I have it in the shade Bliss, and I'm just gonna squeeze some onto the back of my hand so you guys can see the texture. It's just this really nice, lotion-y kind of texture. It's lightweight, it's completely weightless. You won't feel it on your skin at all which I love. I do not like feeling my makeup. I just feel like that's like one of the worst things ever. So this is completely weightless on the skin. So here is the shade Bliss. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the um, foundation and mask brush. This is like a flat, um, I don't wanna say it's a paddle brush. It's not that flat, but it's kind of pinched and it just applies uh, like liquid cream products really, really nicely. Oh, I think the shade is perfect. Perfect. So let me just apply it to this half of my face so you can see the difference. So there is the Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer applied. This is without. I think you can see like how smooth my skin looks and you know, it has light cover so you can still see some of my, you know, freckles kind of popping through, but I feel like it's done this really beautiful like job perfecting without all of that coverage. Just think it's so gorgeous. So let me go ahead and finish applying to the rest of my face. So I pretty much squeeze out just over like an inch long strip for each side of my face. Okay, there it is all over. And I also wanted to show you how buildable this is. So I do have some sunspots here and some blotchiness that I think, you know, could really use another layer. So I'm gonna squeeze out just another strip here and just apply it where I just want a little bit more
coverage. Camouflage the redness around my nose. Maybe add a little bit more underneath my eyes, so maybe I can forego concealer, which would be nice. Yes, I think that looks great. And then just gonna apply some over these darker sunspots that I have. I just love the way my skin looks when I put on Chantecaille foundation. It just looks so, so beautiful. It just looks really, really healthy and really, really natural. And I think this shade Bliss is a great match. I didn't even really bring it down my neck and I don't think I have to. Awesome. I am going to apply, what am I gonna apply first? I've got my Real Bronze bronzer in Goa. Which you guys know I love. I've got um, the Joy blush and I've got Chantecaille's Liquid Lumiere in Brilliance. So I think, I think I'll just start with bronzer. I'm not gonna apply any powder because my skin has been so dry lately. And I'm just gonna use the uh, face brush from Chantecaille and just warm up my face a little bit. And if you are new to my channel, and you have not seen me use this bronzer a gazillion times. <laughs> this is one of two of their real bronzes. They have Serena, which is lighter, and then they have Goa, which is deeper. Now, I use Goa because I find the tone to be more neutral than the Serena. The Serena is warmer, so I do like the Goa a bit more for my skin tone. Then I'm gonna take my cheek brush from Chantecaille and go into the blush Joy. I'm gonna grab some of the Liquid Lumiere in Brilliance. I'm just gonna squeeze some out on my finger and tap on. Such a beautiful highlight, look at that. It's so beautiful and it works well under powder, over powder, like it's such a great formula. And even though it's uh, like a liquid formula, it doesn't feel uh, tacky or sticky, my hair doesn't get caught in it, nothing like that, it sets down beautifully. Look at that. Look at that reflex. Isn't it gorgeous? Next I'm going to throw in some of the Chantecaille Full Brow Perfecting Gel and Tint in Dark. And then I have not used this on camera with you guys in a very long time, but I have one of those um, custom palettes from Chantecaille and I put this together quite some time ago, but we're going to use some of these. I want to start with this shade, which is Sesame. This is one of their lasting eye shades. Yeah, lasting eye shades. I think they have three or four finishes. So they have lasting, iridescent, shine, um, and the lasting is more of like a matte finish. So I'm going to start with Sesame and just kind of dust that all over my lid. And I'm going to use the eye definer brush. And I do want to mention, not only is this customizable palette gorgeous, I mean, look at this mirror finish. It is like a fingerprint magnet, but it is beautiful. Uh, it's got a beautiful mirror on the inside, room for eight products, cheek or eye. And then there is a brush that comes in this palette. Most brushes that come in palettes are throwaway brushes. I never use them. They're not great quality. I have better brushes. However, this Chantecaille brush that comes in this palette is incredible. In fact, I've taken, I have, because I have two of these palettes, I've taken the brushes out of the palettes and I keep them with my brushes. They're incredible. So if you ever pick up the palette, don't just like mindlessly throw away the brush that's in there. It's very good. Speaking of, I'm gonna use that brush and I'm gonna go into this shade, which is Cell, and this is an iridescent shade. I love that beautiful sheen that the iridescent shades have. They're gorgeous. They're like, like an amped up satin. Not quite metallic, but a little bit more than just plain old satin. I'm gonna go back to the eye definer brush and go into this shade, which is Patchouli. And this is one of the lasting eye shades. And then for eyeliner, I generally go for Jasper, which is like a metallic brown shade, but I think I'm gonna use Raven, which is the black. Yeah, because the eyeshadows I used are a little bit on the cooler side. So yeah, I'm gonna go for Raven today. And this is their, I think I didn't tell you, this is their Luster Glide eyeliner. And of course, I'm gonna use the Chantecaille Faux Seals Longest Lash Mascara, one of my all-time favorite mascaras. All right, and for lips, I'm gonna use their Natural Lip Liner. And, of course, for lipstick, I'm gonna be using the Lip Veil and Tambodi, my all-time favorite lipstick. All right, and that is my look today. Before we head on upstairs to clean out this room, I'm gonna 
you know, do a little bit of work. I gotta check my emails, reply to some emails, and then we'll head on upstairs. Good morning, everyone. You may be wondering, Michelle, what happened to cleaning that room? <laughs> well, yesterday got a little bit away from me. Sorry, wow, the sun is right in my eyes. Um, I went to just, you know, kind of clean out my email a little bit, and I just wanted to do a few things before tackling the room. And I got an email from my accountant basically giving me some tasks to complete. So that took a lot longer than I thought. It basically took the rest of the afternoon. So uh, I ran out of time, didn't get to uh, tackle that room. And now I am on my way to Stride. I have a Stride class, so it's just running. I shouldn't say running, that really overstates things. It's a walk jog situation for about an hour. And then my mother called me yesterday afternoon. Yesterday afternoon ended up being uh, a little busy, um, but my mom called me yesterday afternoon and she has COVID. So her throat is killing her. I got a, a desperate text from her today asking if I could bring over some honey and lemon. She's been gargling with salt water. She really doesn't like to take medicine, um, but I'm also gonna get her something for her sore throat. Um, maybe some mucinex or just, just something uh, to kind of help alleviate the pain so after my stride class I'm gonna get that drop that off at her house and then we're gonna get ready for the day <laughs> I'm hopefully gonna tackle this room I do have to I think I mentioned this yesterday but I do have to go to the strip and make a return at Nordstrom and today is actually a beautiful day the clouds have left, that rain has left, but it rained all day yesterday, which is very unusual for Vegas. So today is a better day for venturing out. So I'm gonna try and squeeze all of that in. Let's see how much I can do. Okay, workout is done. I'm feeling really good. It was really, really hard. It was a, a hill day, but it's not like we went any slower. So <laughs> it was just a speed and hill day. Yay. And then I went to Walgreens and Vons and got a bunch of stuff for my mom. Hopefully, hopefully she'll start to feel better soon. I got her some of those like cough drops, the medicated cough drops, which I think will help um, with her sore throat. Cause I think that's the worst thing. She says she doesn't have a fever or anything. Anyway, I dropped all that off and now I'm on my way home. I am going to shower and yeah, and get ready for the day. All right, I'm all showered. I'm ready to put on some makeup so that we can hit the strip, go to Nordstrom, I can make my returns. I think we're just gonna make the return at Nordstrom and then head elsewhere. So I was thinking about either going to the forum shops at Caesars or Crystal's Mall, but first, Let's put on some makeup. Yesterday, I put on the Chantecai uh, Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer in the shade Bliss, which is my new shade, which works much better for me than vanilla. And then I have the Cushion or the Future Gel Foundation. This is the Future Skin Oil-Free Gel Foundation. And I have new shades in these both as well. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try the Cushion. So I have the shade Alabaster now. So again, I used to use vanilla, which had become too deep for me, but I'm so curious about how Alabaster is gonna work for my skin. I'm gonna use a brush. I'm actually gonna use uh, this brush from Chantecai. This is actually the Liquid Sculpt brush. This is really, really great, I think, for like cream liquid products. And it's got like a slanted edge. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and dip this in. What am I thinking? I need to put on some primer, and I'm gonna put on the Chantecai Ultra Sun Primer. Gotta shake it up, it's very liquidy. I don't think I even told you what I'm returning to Nordstrom, did I? So I bought two pieces from the row from Nordstrom, both on sale, and I was so excited for them, um, but I made a TikTok about both of them and the blouse that I got, it was like asymmetric. It had this diagonal like button front uh, line there and it was really, really cool. But the breast pocket was on the inside, which I thought maybe was a mistake, but apparently it was like a design choice. And it's so stupid because, <laughs> because you can see the outline of the breast pocket because it's just white like cotton, you know? And I, some of the comments that I saw on TikTok, people were like, oh, well, it's like a jacket. I'm like, you don't sit there and open your blouse like that and put, your jacket is one thing because you usually have something on underneath and you can open up your blouse. But I'm like, this, it's also diagonal. So it was like very awkward. I'm like, no, this is just simply like an avant-garde design thing. And then someone else commented, they were like, oh, it's like a nod to Junya Watanabe or something. And I'm like, well, that's 
great, um, but like I, and I know the row is really inspired by um, Japanese designers, so I shouldn't be surprised, but I really like the row for just their clean, practical, simple, elegant, chic pieces. And so this just felt like, I love the asymmetric, you know, detail because that's, you know, that's like really difficult to like design properly and have it fit properly. And it fit really, really well. But that pot, I was like, this is so stupid. <laughs> I should have just put it on the outside. So anyway, I'm returning that because I think that would just annoy me. And then I got this long overcoat um, that just has this simple closure. It's not even a button. It's like one of those like hook um, string kind of um, closures and it hangs beautifully. I mean, their draping and their tailoring is so incredible, but it's just a little bit too big for me. And I know it's supposed to be, you know, a little bit oversized. And again, another reason why I like the row, but it was, it was just a little bit too much. Like the sleeves are really long and like the shoulders were kind of like, they weren't sitting well on my shoulders. They were kind of like drooping off. And I thought, mm, I could probably use a size smaller, but because I got it on sale, there weren't any more available. So anyway, two fails, two fails for me. So I'm gonna be returning both of those. I'm really bummed because I was excited that I got them on sale, but they're on sale for a reason. So anyway, those are the returns I'm making. Back to makeup. So again, we've got the cushion in alabaster and I'm using their sculpting brush, liquid sculpt brush, and I'm just pressing it in. Look at how like filtered this side of my face looks. Hold on, let me see if I can get you more centered here. But you just see like the texture of my skin, how blurred it looks. Oh my God, it's incredible. I love this cushion foundation. Yeah, and there's that light medium coverage. Isn't that pretty? The brow tint. And I'm gonna go back in with the Joy blush. That's the one with the horse on it. And then just gonna use a dab of the Lick of Lumiere again in Brilliance. I really loved the little bit of highlight it gave me. So, so pretty. And I'm gonna go back into Cell, which is this iridescent eye shade down here. I'm just gonna brush this one shade all over my lid. And I'm gonna use the eye definer brush. Then I'm just gonna add mascara. I'm gonna skip eyeliner today. And the Faux Seals Longest Lash Mascara, of course. And then I'm gonna throw on Tambodi. All right. We are ready to hit the strip. Oh, and here is a quick outfit of the day. I'm wearing um, this old Lily Silk cashmere sweater. It has this really cute, kind of like waffle, waffle texture in there. I don't know if you can see it. It's really hard to show it on black. But anyway, I will link it down below if you're interested. And then I'm realizing I never did like a try on haul for you guys with uh, some things that I got from Everlane because they came, I think, right at the end of Mishmas and I was like, ugh, I can't squeeze it in. So anyway, I ordered some of their Dream Pant and they are like a jersey knit, so they're pretty thick. Um, so they're not too like floppy. Uh, they're tapered and then they have this seam. Again, I'm wearing black, so I don't know if you can see it, but they have a seam running down like the center front, just to give it a little bit more of like a tailored sort of look instead of just wearing like, basically like sweatpants, but there's pockets. There is a drawstring, but it's on the inside, which I like, and it is elastic waisted. They're just super duper comfortable. And of course I've got my Kate uh, Marcy leather ballet flats. I think that's the full name. And of course I was just gonna bring my Birkin 25, which I think works just fine. Oh my God, you guys, I just got a text from my husband. He's like, why are you going to the strip? I'm like, I have to return something. I'm gonna go, you know, shopping or whatever. He's like, you know, CES is in town, which is the biggest convention that Vegas has every year. It's the Consumer Electronics Show. So this may be a very short trip to the strip. We'll see. Or I may end up just staying at Nordstrom because I can get to Nordstrom from like a side street. You know what I mean? So I'm at Nordstrom. I just made my return. They're so nice here. Um, but I thought I would take a peek around the beauty section. How are you? 
are you? <laughs> She's a really good little black one. <laughs> How's it going? Good, good, good. Yeah? Anything new? Not yet. No? We're oh, going to come yet. in with the uh, lipstick. The new Allure oh, uh, coming right. back. that's mm right. -hmm. Like some new shades, right? Yes, we're going to have like... Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a lot of new shades. Mm -hmm. Did they redo the whole line or are they just adding those? They they um, stop making it and they redo it either. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know always doing Chanel, something, right? They yeah. They take it out and they yeah. make a new one. So, okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Any day, so... Okay. home sorry so much sun here uh, <laughs> see why I like those gloomy days so I drove out of Nordstrom uh, towards the actual strip towards Las Vegas Boulevard I was like well let's let's just see how it is and if it's not too bad I'll stop by like crystals or Bellagio or something there <laughs> it's like a mess there was like a bus just across an intersection diagonally not moving I don't know if it broke down there there was another like um, not a full-on bus, like a passenger van, uh, same thing. It was just like in the middle of the intersection. I'm like, what's going on here? So anyway, I'm on my way home. There's, <laughs> there's like a little bit too much craziness going on on the strip and it just took me a long time to just drive down, I don't know, maybe like two blocks. So yeah, going home. Okay, I am home from the strip. The traffic was really bad. <laughs> It was really bad. Usually takes me about 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes to get to and from wherever I need to, at least to a parking spot. We know casinos are gigantic. Um, but it took me like almost an hour, an hour just to kind of get off of the, uh, you know, the exit onto the highway, whatever. Anyway, I'm back home. I'm walking upstairs. I'm walking upstairs. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna tackle this room right now. We're gonna do it. No more procrastinating. No more excuses. Yes. All right, so walking into the room, we've got a rolling rack. Those are my husband's shirts. My steamer, just handbags on the floor, like an animal. And then I just have this crazy pile of bags and boxes that I just need to go through and get rid of or put away, but it's ridiculous. So when I purchase something and it comes in a nice, big, beautiful bag, I just take the thing out and I come in here and I just dump the bag off. Ridiculous. I would like to know though, do you guys keep all of the boxes, all of the bags, all of that stuff? I am very tempted to keep the boxes. Um, even though when I build out this room, I'm going to be putting everything like on shelves or whatever in cabinets. Do you keep the boxes and do you keep the bags? The bags, I feel silly. I mean, I should really... I should really repurpose them. I mean, I have so many shopping bags that I use to carry stuff to friends' houses or whatever that I, I really, I don't need, I don't need these. I, I'll probably just toss them, recycle them. But let me know down below in the comments section what you guys do with your boxes. I mean, I have a pile of clothing. I don't even know what that is. Oh, I see a Spanx label. I guess those are Spanx pants. I see a bag in a bag. I have filming equipment that I completely forgot about. What a mess. What a tool. What is that? What is that? Oh, I think that's a derma plane tool. What is that? Derma flash? I think that's what it's called. Okay. I don't really use those, so that's why it's just sitting here. Okay. All right. Let's let's pick up all of this stuff. So this is that the row coin pouch that I was using, and I started using that Dior wallet. So I guess I just threw this in the Dior bag. Why? All of this time I've been dreaming. Dreaming on the dance floor. I still remember the feeling. I wanna dance till I can't no 
This is actually a holiday card from not this past Christmas, but the Christmas before. So I'm going to hold on to that. Oh, this was the little gift that they gave me. I never, I never ended up using it. Well, I have to remember that I have this. And this is when they had a calligrapher in store. And they had these like peekaboo, I think it was the peekaboo anniversary or something, or the birthday of the peekaboo. So they had these really beautiful cards made in different colors. And then the calligrapher put on there whatever you wanted. How oh, pretty? Oh, this is a card. Oh. oh, this was a thank you card from Fendi when I got my Fendi first clutch. And then I have all this like really cool stuff from Fendi. They, yeah, they like sent this over. Best wishes for the holiday season. This again was not this past one, but the one before. Isn't that pretty? And then they sent this over. I don't know if you guys saw this on my Instagram, but they had like an artist make this up. That's me carrying the Fendi first. Isn't that so cool? Uh, I have to get this framed. Wow. Is this not a blast from the past? What is in here? This is so old. <gasps> Look, do you remember these? When I saw this at Barney's, I was like, give it to me. And I think a customer was like returning it and I was like, just, just hand it over, just hand it over. Oh, this was such a good time for Lamban and Albert Elvaz, who was the um, head designer, the creative director for Lamban at this time. He passed away from COVID, so sad. Oh, I love this bag. It is another handbag box. Oh, this is my box for my jumbo flap. The one that I um, purchased used from Kat. Look at how pristine she keeps everything. Uh, all right, and then I've got this Fendachi bag. And then I have this Nemo Marcus bag. Add all this stuff to the bag pile. Actually, this bag is really oversized. I think I can put all the other bags into this bag. All right, all the bags are in this one bag. So with all of these boxes that I'm keeping, what I think I'm gonna do is put them like around this corner because that's where I'm gonna have California closets like build out everything. And I'm gonna put like my handbags that are just sitting here like on top of the boxes. And it'll give me like a nice visual, like how much room I actually have in terms of handbags, if that makes sense. So let's give that a shot. Obviously, not all of my handbags are in here, but the ones that were just sort of strewn all over the floor now look like they mean to be where they are. <laughs> so this gives me like a little bit of an idea of what this room will look like when cabinets are along these two walls, because that's what we're planning on doing. So the original plan was to have open shelving, all that stuff to like display the bags, but I think I'm just gonna have closed doors because it just gets too dusty. I don't want to dust all these bags all the time. I want them kind of put away. I also don't want to have the pressure to keep them nice looking <laughs> or organized looking. Um, I want like doors in front of them that I can just close. So I think that's what I'm leaning towards, like cabinets with, you know, doors and then big drawers underneath for bags that I just want um, to put in drawers and not necessarily have on shelving. And we can't really have anything against this wall because it's the wall like when you walk into the room, 
and the bathroom's right there. It's just, it's right here. So if you put anything that's stuck out of it, it would sort of be in the way of walking in. And then this other wall is um, just French doors and windows. So yeah, these are the only two viable walls for storage. Oh, so that is it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and helping me clean this room. It's uh, so much nicer to sit here and like talk to you guys while I'm doing it. Um, otherwise it feels like such a slog. So thank you guys so much again, as usual for tuning in. And a big thank you to Shantakai for sponsoring the get ready with me makeup portion of this vlog. And that is it for this one. I will see you guys in my next one real soon. Bye.